Hey guys, this is Aaron with Willow Tree Pool Service. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm at one of my clients' houses and they just got a new Coleman pool. So I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys how these um, multi-port valves work in case you've never seen one of these before. This is pretty standard issue for all sand filters, which is what this is. This is a sand filter. Um, so you have a few settings here. Um, anytime that you're adjusting this handle, um, you're gonna need to turn off the pump first. So that's what we're gonna do. She's running an Intex um, pump here. So we're gonna go ahead and just turn this off. What we've got here, I'm gonna run you through these real quick. Um, you've got your filter setting. So this is the setting that you're gonna run the pool on almost all the time, like 99% of the time. This, what this does, this filter setting, it's gonna pull in water from the pool. It's gonna go through the pump. It's gonna go up this hose. And what the filter setting does is inside here, I know you can't see it because you'd have to open this up, but inside here is a bunch of sand. And the filter setting, basically the water comes from the top and it goes down through the sand and it's sucked up by these finger like protrusions on the bottom called the laterals. Um, so you got the laterals on the bottom, which suck the water down through the sand media. And then in the middle of it is something called the stand pipe. So once the water is sucked down there, it goes back up the stand pipe, back up to this outlet port, right? And then back to the pool. Okay, so that's the, that's the filter setting that keeps your water clean. That's what you're gonna use most of the time, right? Um, then you have your, we're gonna go um, clockwise here. Then you have your waste setting, right? Your waste setting, um, basically what that does, it completely bypasses your filter. So it goes straight from the pool down through the pump up into the, uh, the inlet right here. Um, and then what it's gonna do is it's basically gonna go straight from here through the multi-port valve. It's gonna come out this waste port. Okay, this is your waste port right here. All, all sand filters have this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that does, right? So we have the pump turned off. We're gonna turn it to waste. Okay, there it is. You can already see, right, the water's coming out. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on here. You can see it's coming directly from the pool. Out up through the pump here and straight out there, okay? So that's waste. That's very good for if you have like a lot of dirt on the bottom of the pool and you just want to get that dirt straight from the bottom of the pool out of the pool, right? We're just we're just eject, we're, we're just ejecting it out straight out of the pool. Um, and that that's important for if you have like really fine debris that you don't think is going to um, the the sand is going to be able to filter out. In other words, it's too too fine for the sand it's actually going to go through the sand and back into the pool sometimes that happens right if if um the dirt is very fine so that's a good time to use it the other time to use it would be if you're trying to okay sorry about that um so what i was trying to say is that um another good time to use that waste port valve is um if you need to drain water if it's recently rained a lot and you're just trying to dump out water um from the system Okay, so that's basically the waste valve um, we were on here. Okay, so now we're gonna go to close. Close basically, um, what this does is it blocks off water from coming down this hose right here um, so that it, when you open up this lid right here to clean out this basket, water's not gonna come down this hose because remember, this is, um, gravity is pulling down 5,000 gallons worth of water down this hose is going to try to siphon it down here so you're blocking it off right there at the pass so that it can't go down here and then you can also block it off there so that the gravity doesn't feed it down here because when you open it up you're going to break the airtight seal right to clean out the basket so that's what the closed thing is for you never want to run um, the pump when it's in the closed position because you're going to blow up your multiport valve so don't do that so um, next we're going to again you always want to turn counterclockwise um, this handle um, the reason you want to do that is because there's a there's a gasket in there that's kind of fragile so you always want to go in a clockwise motion so that you're minimizing the movement of that spider gasket okay we're in the backwash setting here um, you want to do this once a month usually it just kind of depends on how dirty the water is um, basically what this is doing it's uh, instead of going from the top down through the sand 
you're pushing water from the bottom laterals up through the sand. So you're cleaning the sand when you do this. Um, that's what the backwash is. It cleans the sand. So if your pool is really green and you got a lot of algae and you're running your filter a lot, you're gonna wanna backwash frequently because all that junk is gonna collect on the sand and uh, you gotta clean that sand out. It's, it's not a free lunch, right? So you gotta get, you gotta get that dirty sand, uh, or sorry, the, uh, the dirt off the sand out. So when we go to backwash, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the backwash. Again, the filter's off. This is all gravity pulling that out right there. So I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so now we're backwashing right here. So we're cleaning out the sand essentially. I did this recently, so you can see this little sight glass here. Um, you put your finger behind that. If you can see your finger, then you don't have to backwash anymore. This is a sample of the water that's coming out. So we know it's clean because you can see my finger. Um, but normally that would be very dirty and you would wait until that dirt clears up and it's no longer dirty right there in that sight glass. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it off. Again, you always wanna turn it off, right? So that was backwash. That's what backwash does. Now we're gonna go to um, recirculation. Basically what recirculation does is it moves the water, sucks it up the pump, goes up this hose, but instead of filtering it, it goes right into this hose back into the pool. So you're basically just churning up your water. That's all that does. Sometimes that's helpful. Um, you don't use that too often, um, but I guess there's some times where you might want to do that. And then, um, okay, now this one, this is rinse. Anytime you backwash, you always want to rinse it. Rinsing basically um, takes all of the water that's in the hoses after you backwash. All that water is probably kind of dirty, even though the sand's kind of cleaned out now. So you're taking all the dirty water from the hoses and you're ejecting it out the, the um, waste port when you do this. So usually you want to backwash generally for like a minute or two and you want to rinse for like 15 seconds, 30 seconds maybe not as much as you backwash. Um, again, you look at that sight glass, that kind of determines where you're at right there, right? So, okay, all the water's coming out, so we rinsed it, and then that's it. Now you go back to filter. There's another, there's one last um, uh, notch that you might have. It might say winterize, or it might say N um, here. I don't know why it says N there. I don't know what that stands for, but generally it says winterize, and that, basically opens up the multi-port valve. It doesn't do anything. It's just kind of like a notch there. In the winter, you put it on that setting and it lets air into the multi-port valve so that um, all the water can drain out of your pipes and your hoses so that it doesn't freeze. Because remember, if water freezes, it expands and it would break your pipes. So you in the winter, if you're closing it down, if you're closing it down, um, you don't have to, but if you choose to, you put it on the winterized setting and that lets the air in for you. Um, so yeah, now, now that I explained all that, I got it back on filter. I'm gonna turn it on. And again, this is filtering through the sand. This is your normal setting that you're gonna wanna have. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Generally, you wanna, um, you wanna allow your pump to run uh, in the summer, I like to let it run about eight to 10 hours, somewhere around there. And in the winter, usually you can get away with like four to six hours. There's really no reason to run it 24 hours. Um, you're just kind of wasting electricity at that point. Um, there's some other factors like how dirty the pool is that kind of come into that. But for the most part, that's, that's uh, pretty much it. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, have a great day. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention, guys, is when you, um, one other trick for backwashing is um, if you have, this is a sand filter right here, but if you have a um, cartridge filter, or not a cartridge filter, a grid filter with diatomaceous earth in it where the, um, the grids actually filter out the water, what you can do is there's a trick to this, and it also works on sand filters too, and you know, um, so different filter types, but um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off the pump <clears throat> it was on filter, right? We're gonna turn it back to, this is another client of mine. We're gonna turn it back to the backwash port. Yep, just like we had before, right? We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna let it backwash. But um, 
what basically the whole trick is you run it to backwash for one cycle you put it back on filter and you let it run for about 30 seconds and then you go back to backwash and then you run a second backwash cycle you put it back to filter you let that run for 30 seconds and then you do a third round of backwashing so basically you're just backwashing two or three times in a row and uh by doing that you can actually get a decent amount more dirt and debris off of the sand or the um or the uh, filter grids if you have a diatomaceous earth filter grid um you can see how it's still even a little dirty this is round two um for me that i just did right here so <clears throat> that's another trick to keep in mind <laughs> if you got a lot of dirt and stuff in the water um you know which is the case here um it's a little bit cloudy in this one um it's a new new client so we're gonna go ahead and turn it back to filter and uh run it but yeah i just want to show you guys that 